Before we now start creating the different surfaces with those profile curves we created, we should actually position those curves along the x-axis into their correct position so that they are slightly in front of our mp3 player. So I'm going to select all my different curves. Then I go into a side view. Maybe I turn on the interface layer so I can see where the front surface is. And then I can use, for example, the move tool. And then with pressing the middle mouse button and then pressing the alt, snapping to the grid. And I notice somehow this object got slightly rotated, uh, sorry, not rotated, but moved. So let's take a look what the issue is. And as you can see, the pivot point is actually perfectly uh, aligned to the grid, but that makes then the arc actually not be aligned. So we have to fix this, but that's not very difficult. Because what we're going to do now is going into a top view, zoom in a little bit, then we go into drag, and we can select this point, move it with the left mouse button, and then click the Alt key, and make it snap to the grid. And maybe the curvature is a little bit too strong. So I reset it this way. In this uh, pivot point, I could, for example, change. I'm going to now select this curve, set pivot, and then with my left mouse button, I can move it around and maybe press then the Alt key and reset it. So you can see that this is basically the center point for this arc, for the radius, but the object center point is exactly between those two lines. So the next time I'm, I might actually start moving those profile curves, my construction is not being ripped apart. So, and the main reason why I actually put those curves in front of the MP3 player is also that the button to slide forward and backwards along the x-axis of course has a small tunnel so and then this tunnel we we have to create so it sinks in and most times there's a very small uh, kind of like distance those buttons also stick out <laughs> 